body's in shambles right now. My tongue is sore. I have a pimple on my nose now. Damn. Bro. From the fake blood too. Damn. Just sucks. Show bro. them. <laughs> Show so them. my tongue. Yeah. Go go go, go <laughs> close to the camera. Ew, bro. <laughs> no, because it looked it looks super red. I'm like, holy shit. Yeah, I don't know what happened. It was probably yeah. like the chili I ate mm -hmm. with the chips. Fucking hurts, bro. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie. The worst pain is when it's like something so sensitive that you never touch. You know what I'm talking about? Like for example, your tongue, like you never really touch oh, your tongue. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. One one more thing, your ear. You never really like touch the inside of your ear or something. Mm -hmm. I remember one time, I think I got like an infection. Yeah. I couldn't I couldn't like turn my head like this because I hurt so bad. Word. Mm -hmm. You know about my infection of my ear? What happened? Where I had um so your when earring? I was, no no when I was born. There's like two bumps. I think you talked about this too. So there's there was one bump here, and you can see it right here. Hold on. There's a big bump right oh, here. Oh, the circle. Yeah, yeah. You know what that means? What? Oh, oh no, no. I think you talked about this before. Yeah. I, I forgot what it was. So this is what Josh told me back in the day. Yeah, yeah. So I think it's like uh I think it's like African like culture. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure exactly. Yeah. Oh, it wasn't Josh, it was Cheaty. Uh-huh. He said, if you have the circles in your ear, like the, uh -huh. the circle, the it's just, it's really just like an opening. Okay. No explanation for it. It means that you can see spirits. Oh, word. Well, That's what I mean. I don't know why. Yeah. That's just I what you told see, me. Well, I can't see spirits. But I, maybe my shit is different because what comes out of my shit is different than everyone else's. Wait, what? So, what comes, so you, you know how you it's, can squeeze it? Yeah. So it's a bump. Ew. Yeah. So listen, listen. <laughs> it's a bump, right? Yeah. And there's a hole in it. The hole is because if you squeeze it, there's like pus that comes out. Trig trigger warning, my fault for everyone who's That's like so eating gross, during our bro. podcast, right? And I have this funny story, right? So I was going on my like a date with a girl and. And she if, squeezed it? No, no. Even if you... <laughs> so she went in for a hug, right? Like the initial hug. Yeah. And she kind of hit my like ear, right? Oh. And when this gets irritated, it pusses out and like it stinks. It sends a fume like... Oh, So even my girl right shit. now, she's like, she's like, I, I tell her like, yo, sniff this for me and we're locked in for life, right? Ew. And then she's like, no, no, no. Because it smells like fucking fish, right? So she goes in for the hug. She hits it. And I can already tell because I feel like wet stuff coming out my ear. Oh, yeah. I'm like, oh, fuck. So I'm like, yo, I need to go to the bathroom real quick. So it's already awkward because I'm like already asking her to go to the washroom. Yeah. In <laughs> the first day, I'm like, oh, fuck. Like, this shit stinks. Damn, yeah. bro. So <laughs> it's something like you have to you have to watch out for every single time. Yeah. No, kind of. It's like, it's not as bad now. But I had two before. And yeah. luckily, my mom told the doctor, can you get rid of this one? Uh, when I was when I was born, she kept this one. I don't know why. How do you get rid of it? Uh, the doctor did surgery, so he cut it. He cut it, and then it, it repaired. Why not that one? I don't know. I always ask my mom why why didn't didn't do two, but she said the pain might be too much for you as a kid. Because this one was already crazy. Like, blood was dripping down my ear oh, to get it out. How old were you? Like, a baby? Yeah, a baby baby. So you don't remember it? Yeah, I don't remember. Mm. But yeah, this one I still have. That's like the circumcision. <laughs> Low-key. Like, I had mine when I was a baby, so I didn't, I didn't yeah, remember yeah, yeah. it. But I remember my cousin... Oh, no, it wasn't my cousin. It was a family friend. Oh, my God. Bruh, I think he was, like, he was a decent age. He <laughs> might have been 12 years old, fam. Yeah. Bro, it's 12 years old. See him walk into the family jam like this. <laughs> <laughs> no, yo, bro. Bro, hit one of those. I'm like, ah, oh, shit, that I, must I, suck. I don't know how mans don't do it when they're just a baby. Like, if you told me right now, oh, I have to get circumcised, fuck no, I'm not doing that, like... Like if I'm if I'm at a point where I know what's gonna happen, ah! don't do it to me. You know what I mean? No, bro. I can't even imagine something yeah, that like, close. Oh my. Cause already a cut like on your arm, <laughs> like you kind of have to be careful with it, right? You're trying to not touch it on shit. But we're, when it's in a place that has so much oh friction, my God. how do you how do you navigate your way around? Yeah, you can't, and that's why your your pajama pants are stained. <laughs> so, so. Wow, yo, stand up, no. stand up. <laughs> Okay, but <laughs> <laughs> Yo, tell me why Gavin has these red pajama pants and they just have a white like fade <laughs> right at his crotch. Like how? Now take it. Yo, you know those men who have no filter like Ryan? Yeah. Like I've worn these pajamas so much around you guys and no one said shit, right? Until Ryan said so, it. So Ryan, Ryan's looking me dead in the eye. I have, I have my like legs like this, and he's like, yo, Gavin, what is going on with your pajamas? <laughs> I'm like, yo, pajamas fade. Like, I've had these for so long. You know those uh, comfy pajamas <laughs> yeah. you just keep around? It's just funny because it's there. It's, yeah, it's only know. faded there and your knees. It just looks whack. <laughs> 
I know. I don't know why it faded, especially on my crotch area. I don't know why. Yeah, it doesn't make sense there, right? I don't know. But maybe because it is like a lot of friction when you're walking straight and shit. Yeah, but wouldn't it fade the, the whole thing like my thighs do? I don't know, man. I mean, it should. It's a mystery still. It's a mystery. It's a, mystery. <laughs> it's a theory. You know, you know, um, like treadmills, the original... <laughs> The original invention for the treadmills was for torture. You know oh, that? yeah. Yeah, I read about this too. I was going to tell you this on the podcast. Oh, really? Today? Yeah, today? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, what the fuck? Because I have a bunch of like torture methods that I like read about too. So the treadmill, when it started, it wasn't electric. It was just like a, <laughs> it was like a rolling thing, right? Like yeah, wood. Yeah. But the reason they made it was to make the fucking prisoners in mm. jail, make them work harder. And it was just to torture them and feel bad about what they're doing. Yeah. Eventually, they attach that shit to what? The electricity. Yeah, so fucked. for a long time, fam, they were using prisoners to make electricity. And if you really take it in, mm. imagine if they still did that today. Yeah. Would it solve? Would it solve like energy solve crisis? <laughs> to prisoners? I don't know. It, I feel like that, that's a non-humane I mean, I, mean, I, guess it's, I guess it's non-humane now. Yeah. But Loki, that's a blessed torture method because it's like, fuck, I have to... I would rather... Go to jail and just... Because they still give you food and all of that. But being on a treadmill for that long, fam, could it be me? Because if you think about it, like... Obviously, I'm, this is not my place to say because yeah, I'm not yeah. a prisoner myself. Mm -hmm. feel me? But in, if you could somehow give back to society mm -hmm. for the, the sins that you've done... Yeah. That'd be kind of sick. Like, oh shit, I'm, I'm actually giving the world like that is true. good things. Yeah. You know? But they kind of do that already. They, they give people prisoners jobs in the thing. In the in jail. Oh yeah, to make stuff. To yeah. make stuff. So yeah. and they probably give it out too. And they do Bible study. So mm -hmm. they already kind of have like that thing down. It's kind of like a non-torture way. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like I'm not saying torture though, <laughs> motherfucker. Like, like chill. I'm not saying torture though. Yeah. I'm just saying like it would be kind of cool because uh -huh. if you think about it, every single movement can be transferred into energy. Mm -hmm. And one like invention, my auto shop teacher was like saying. He said when you break. All of that energy just stops and it just creates heat. Mm. But what if you can transfer the breaking, that momentum, into yeah. another energy that feeds back into it? Uh -huh. And the same way, like every day, we walk on the street on the sidewalk. Mm -hmm. There's definitely a way to grab that energy being pressed down yeah. and rejuvenate it to something else. Mm -hmm. Like reuse it. Yeah, That would change like society forever. Because... All of that little shit, it kind of adds up. That's true. That's Even true. though it's small, it mm -hmm. kind of adds up. And me, me and Jaden were talking about this yesterday because we were saying like, yo, Wi-Fi should really be free. Because mm -hmm. if you really bag it, like Wi-Fi just comes from a satellite, right? Yeah. And Wi-Fi, we need that shit to run. Like mm -hmm. debit cards, you need Wi-Fi to run it. So I'm like, yo, why are we paying for Wi-Fi? Which is a, is a crazy thing to say. I think eventually somebody's gonna make a free Wi-Fi. Like, like imagine the guy who made Wi-Fi right now. You really have no setup costs. You just have to build one satellite. Boom! You're making profit from everyone. Yo, you know what? Just bad. Yeah. This be crazy. But <clears throat> what if there was like a super billionaire company mm -hmm. that they decided to make like a free Wi-Fi? Yeah. But by making the free Wi-Fi. Since you're connected to them, you oh. have to tap into certain like apps and certain. Oh, like like, a, like they're running in real life ads. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like you tap your debit card, but you have to watch an ad on the, the little debit machine before it comes through first. Yo, it could, right? Yeah. Because I I don't know exactly, but I'm sure if you connect to a certain network. Yeah. They can kind of oh just like when you go to a hotel when mm. you go to a hotel it shows up on Safari but you just put your email in yeah yeah, yeah yeah but but the first page that shows up is that because it's you're like connected to that Wi-Fi yeah, yeah, yeah. so imagine there's like a public one <laughs> you just walk out in the middle of nowhere uh -huh. connect to Wi-Fi oh fuck this is the blah 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 yeah. these are the ads that'll probably make money that's true like if, imagine a like, torture method today just turn off the Wi-Fi that's a torture method for for millennials that's sad, bro. bro that's kind of fucking <laughs> you sad. know what's a crazy one too that I read about so. Back then, mm -hmm. they had this uh this big ball, right? Mm -hmm. And they would attach like prisoners, like uh hand on here, hand on here, hand and feet like this, right? Yeah. And fam, imagine you're up on the hill. They had nothing better to do. So on the on the ball, the guy was attached to. They rolled him down. So every time he would, oh shit, he Wait, would, So his whole body gets so, flattened. So he's like this. He's like this. And all you do, boop, he hits the ground. Ew. Rolls again, boop, his no, head hits the ground. That's not torture. That's like killing. No, but they would survive it somehow, Damn. and then they would keep doing it until man's would like eventually you say die. Metal ball. No, it was like I think it was wood. So oh, okay, it was made okay, out of okay. wood. And then you would just like roll him down. Now in my head I was thinking like a big metal okay, ball. Not, like Indiana Jones? Yeah, like that shit would kill you, no? <laughs> nah, nah, nah. That's fuck, fun. bro. Yeah. No, cause I'm pretty <coughs> sure I'm pretty sure if you like 
if you hit your head at a certain speed, mm-hmm. it's wraps. Like, your head could just explode. Yeah, exactly. Because it's like... um. The the momentum and the the force of it, mm-hmm. we like when you see a car driving wh- while you're in a car, yeah. like on the highway, back this right. We're driving fast and we see a car pass us and it feels kind of slow, but when you're outside and put your head outside, you feel the wind you and feel, feel wind, how yeah. much is moving. Mm-hmm. Fam, we don't realize like how much force we're actually part of, Fact. especially on a plane. Because I on a plane the other day, bro, I just bagged like we're probably going fucking fast as shit. Hundred, yeah. 100%. But inside here, I'm like. Like, nothing's going on, you know yeah. what I mean? Because we're enclosed in that thing. Mm-hmm. And that's why they say uh, that's time traveling. Because Kinda, your, your yeah. speed is at a different pace than everything else mm-hmm. around you. Yeah. I think I think China or Japan just broke the record. Because, like, especially trains. Mm-hmm. Like, yo, I don't know if you rode the go train recently. But, fam, you don't, it doesn't feel like you're going fast. Like, it's, like I saw a video on TikTok. It looks like it's going super it look, slow. It looks kind of yeah. slow, yeah. But I think China or Japan has this bullet train that goes maybe 500 or more yeah, miles goes, per hour. it was crazy. And the guy put a, obviously he put a water ball down, didn't move because he's inside. It's mm-hmm. just, it's basic physics. Mm-hmm. But fam, imagine 500 and you don't feel anything inside. No, that's crazy, bro. Yeah. We should have that shit though. Yeah. But I feel like, I feel like Toronto, we're so behind because we're, we're, we're good with what we have already. <laughs> feel me? Facts. And nobody wants to pay more for that shit. It's so like, ah, fuck it. Like, look, we have it in Ontario, fam. Just, you see that Justin Trudeau um, getting the COVID vaccine? Finally. Yo, this guy... I swear you already had it. No, no. He, he said he finally got the flu shot no, and the like COVID 12th, vaccine. Fam. That's like I don't know. That's his, like, 20th booster. I don't know, bro. Bro's collecting Pokemon <laughs> cards, fam. This guy's <laughs> booster packs. That's what I'm Holy saying. Holy shit. Yeah, yeah. No, but honestly... Okay, conspiracy? Uh-huh. But don't take my advice for it. But he cut the video. <laughs> Before they poked him. No, 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 not that. <laughs> but back this. All right, this is gonna sound crazy though. Uh-huh. This is gonna sound crazy, but I feel like we're at a moment in time where we don't really care about the COVID shit. Yeah, yeah. But back this. Out of all of my family, there's only one person in our family that got hella boosters, yeah. and they're the only person that caught COVID more than once. Word. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know, man. Is that weird? Yeah, I don't have a booster. I just have the, the regular. Me too. I only got it once. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Isn't that weird though? But as soon as the booster came out, I'm like, wait, if we already have one, why do we have to get a booster? Now, back this. I only ever caught COVID after I got a booster. Really? Yeah. Oh, so you got the booster? Yeah. No, not, not a booster. Sorry. The regular shot. Oh, the regular shot. A regular shot when you had to, like, it was Mando. Like, yeah. you had to. Sorry, I didn't get a booster. Yeah. When, like, the regular mandatory. Mm, yeah. That's the only time I caught it. That's crazy, bro. I remember I was in Jamaica too, mm-hmm. and this guy was um he was arguing. You know those guys that sell like the fruits. Yeah. So so, bro, I, all I hear I'm like eavesdropping on their conversation. All I'm hearing is they're having the most political debate and, the, and about like, what about the COVID shots. So, oh shit. So so the Jamaican guy is talking about uh, nah that shit fake man <laughs> like that shit over here just eat some some fruits like he's trying to sell fruits to the guy he's like nah man all you need is this yo and the guy's getting heated he's like bro what do you mean like the COVID shit is real like and the guy's just smoking weed and just trying to sell fruits <laughs> Sam do I have a story for you yeah, bro yeah, yeah. so my uncle right god damn yo. COVID and freaking the the pandemic, uh-huh. it really brought out the conspiracy in everybody. Mm-hmm. But I wasn't like that far, you know what I mean? Like yeah. I wasn't like going crazy and shit, okay. and I w- I wasn't like gullible. But my uncle, holy, what happened? He came to me with the craziest theory. What did he say? And he even wanted to test it. So he said, "Oh, you got the shot? I didn't get the shot. Come, let's test something." <laughs> he said, "I saw this online, and uh, I tested it with with uh, your your tita." Now we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it right now. Okay. So he said, "All right, come with me in the car. We're gonna drive away from like satellite signals, Bluetooth, blah blah blah." Mm. So he takes out his phone. His theory was that because he took a shot, there's a certain like um setting on Android phones yeah. when you go to the Bluetooth, you can access like hidden Bluetooth signals. Word. Yeah. There's like there's like a, another Bluetooth setting. It's like yeah, the yeah, hidden yeah. Bluetooth signals. What the hell? <laughs> Only on Android? Yeah. So check this out. <clears throat> so he said. He did it with like my tita and he's like, yo, what the fuck? There's one, there's one Bluetooth hidden signal and they were in the middle of the forest. Okay. So we did that shit. Yeah. We drove out to like, we were like in the middle of a park or something. And he takes out his phone. <laughs> All right. You ready? He puts that shit on. Nothing happens. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so you guys so, just drove so we're in the middle of nowhere and I'm out here like this. <laughs> That's so funny. Wait, we drove out. Of- Wait, but what was his point though? Like, like he he was just trying to show you what, like that he had some hidden stuff. 
Or no, like, no, like he's trying to say like the 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 shot gave you some, some next, next Bluetooth. some next Bluetooth signal. <laughs> and it didn't work. <laughs> That's but back. how crazy does that sound though, <laughs> feel me? How crazy does that sound where it's like, yo, yo, because you took that shit, you have a Bluetooth signal. Yo, come on. That's not far off though. <laughs> I would low-key believe that shit too. Uh, but I like mean, the, the fact that he went all the way with the joke, was it supposed to be a joke? I don't think it was supposed to be a joke. He I think was he was dead, dead ass. Saying. I think he was dead ass. I think because because there's no way there's no way he was dead ass. Bro's definitely retired or something, bro. He has too much time to be doing that. <laughs> Fam, imagine driving all the way and you know that's not gonna work. Oh nah, God, man, bro. that's some bullshit. Nah, it was crazy. Stuff. Yeah, it was crazy. Worse. Holy. Um, there's a there's a mystery I really want to talk about. I heard okay. this recently. Yeah, yeah. So, did you ever hear about the mystery of the Loretto Chapel? No. Loretto Chapel. You never heard this about is a it? Church. Yeah. Okay. So, to this day. And mm. it's still on the news. They they did a broadcast on about this. Yeah, there's a chapel that has a staircase in the church. Mm -hmm. It does not use any nails, any glue, and does not use wood from this earth. What? Check this out. Now the story goes from not, I think 1887. Uh -huh. This is a long, long time ago. There's a chapel, and there's a carpenter working on the staircase in the chapel to reach the top. It's okay. like an atrium. Yeah. And before he could finish it, he died and passed away. Mm -hmm. Now, the nuns in the church, what they did, they started to pray. And they prayed to St. Joseph. Mm. Prayed to St. Joseph to ask Jesus to, to bless to bless the chapel and send someone to finish the construction mm -hmm. so that they can pray. Yeah. Now, what happened was one day... After the ninth day of their prayers, okay. a man came into town on a donkey and described as having a long white beard, long white hair, and he came with tools yeah. off the donkey, came to the church and said, I'm here to build the stairs. Yeah. What? Exactly. Now, check this out. Obviously, they allowed him in, but the one thing he said was, you're not allowed. You guys have to give me privacy. Mm. And it's going to take me, like, a month. Okay. So they let him do his thing. They let him work. Mm -hmm. Before they could even give him payment or anything, even, like, thank him, yeah. he disappeared. He didn't want anything from them. Now, check this out. This is where it gets crazy. Yeah. So <clears throat> what they say is that this staircase was a miracle. And they actually, to this, like, 2023, they okay. sent researchers to look at the wood to... And architects to look at the structure. Mm. And it's physically impossible to create this staircase. Now, if you look at it, I'm going to show you a picture. Let me see. It go, It's a spiral. And you know how staircases, they have posts to keep it like standing. Yeah, yeah. This has no post. Wait, so it's just like, it's just like this. Yeah, it's, it's literally like a big wood staircase. Like, like a slide. So basically yeah, it's a like slide. A, it's like a slide. Now, for 1887, it's already like suspicious. This is dead ass a miracle fam. Yeah, here. what the hell? It was called the Loretto. And he said the wood wasn't from Earth? Yeah. So they <laughs> took a sample. <laughs> they took a sample and they tested it, trying to find the exact like um species of, of tree. Wood. Yeah, yeah. They couldn't find anything. The closest they found was something in I think Alaska, but it wasn't even the same. The like hell? it was close to it, but it wasn't even the same. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Loretto Chapel staircase. Boom, look at this. Fam, there's no nails. There's no glue. It's just, it just goes up like that. It's built all by hand too. Oh, shit. I swear. Now you can you imagine, can... imagine 1887, fam. And it's still standing. Yo, 1887, they had hammers and shit. Yeah, they had yeah. saws. They didn't have no fucking, they have no, no mechanical. Yeah. They don't have none of that. Stuff, know, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I was going to say, that looks like something that could be in a mansion today. Yeah, exactly. You know what I mean? Now check this out. Yeah. This is the big kicker, fam. What happened? So it's speculated, and this is what the common belief is, mm -hmm. that this staircase was made by St. Joseph himself. Why? Because St. Joseph was a carpenter. And they oh. prayed to who? To St. Joseph. Oh, sh so the guy on the donkey on was... On the donkey was St. Joseph. But how did they know that it wasn't him, though? Like, even if you're praying to someone... No, but, like, you wouldn't know who they look like. You mm, know what I mean? Okay, okay. It's just a man. Yeah. Right? Yeah, that makes sense. But came with, like, 
mm. tools and said, I'm here to build the stairs. Damn. Out of nowhere. Yeah. Still a mystery to this day. Like they So we can ass. go today and yeah, just walk on it. Yeah, you can literally go and, and walk on it. Really? Yeah, this is the, like a real life miracle. It's like physical form. Yo, and that's crazy because... A, like it's been up for so long mm-hmm. you would think that like maybe a satanist would go there and like break it or like try to fuck with it mm. just because it's like oh yeah you think this is true nah i'm gonna break this shit but it hasn't bro this is <laughs> this is dead ass like real miracle yeah. fam and what's crazy is they they actually brought people to try and debunk it yeah, yeah i was gonna say like there was there was people trying to like debunk it uh-huh. and all of them failed like they they really tried fam Holy. they really tried the studies and they yeah. really tried to see like Nah, this doesn't make sense here, blah, blah, blah. Mm-hmm. Yo, they couldn't. Still no answer. Damn. Yeah. Damn. So they couldn't even find the wood, too. They're like, no, it's not they birch. Yeah. It's Damn. not oak. It's, it's not even from earth, dog. Dog, that's so crazy. That's crazy, that's right? Crazy. Like, I don't know where it knocks on your door. <laughs> Yo, imagine, imagine you're trying to fix your PC, and one day you get a knock on your door. Like, let me fix this. Yo, I have your processor, man. <laughs> no, that's so fucked. Crazy. That's, wait, so who has ownership of it now? No, it's just a church. It's just a church. It's a church. But yeah. they still go in it and like everyone walks on it. Cause fam, yeah, it, like it's a it's a because if I was the owner of that church, I'm closing it down. Like this is too crazy. It's like a miraculous wonder that people can go and take a look at. Yeah. Yeah. That's fucking crazy. Mm-hmm. Bro. Yeah. Fam, and I think I honestly believe like there's definitely more stories like that. Mm-hmm. It's just we didn't hear the publicity of it. Yeah. Huh? Cause why would they air something out like that? To mm-hmm. be honest. It's like I, I think just this story specifically was so mm-hmm. Like kind of mind blowing because they sent like scientists to check it out. Mm-hmm. Yeah. When it's like that and you send like researchers and shit, then it's serious. Like, oh fuck, we don't have an answer either. Yeah, I know. You you ever think like um like even this apartment? Like, do you ever get thoughts of like, or even your o- old house mm. or even your house right now? It's like, yo, who was in it before? Like, it, I mean, it my, might have had like a crazy story. Like one of those ones is like, oh yeah, there was actually like a a witch in this house or like uh there was some some next you know carpenter in this house or some shit. <clears throat> Honestly, my Lola's house, well, because I grew up there, uh-huh. I had this reoccurring nightmare. It was really, really weird. Yeah, and I still have no answer for it. But it was, it was a nightmare. And this, this is me as like a five year old kid having this dream. Mm-hmm. My dream was, for some reason, I was being like, like almost used from by a witch. What the hell? Yeah, yeah. That was you told I, me this. That was attached to like the basement of the. The house. Yeah. It was such a weird dream because it's such an elaborate story. Mm. That's why it like really fucked with me. Yeah. But the story was the witch was actually someone my dad used to date and did like dirty in the Philippines. Whoa. Yeah, I know. It's such a weird like as a kid, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. yeah. As a kid to think about this story is so odd. Mm-hmm. But that was the that was my dream. That was my nightmare. And I would have that dream like a couple times. Yeah. And then I think when I got like Yo, you know what? That was around grade two. Mm-hmm. And then by the time I got like communion and stuff, I didn't have that dream anymore. Mm, damn. Because it's no, like, I'm not saying that just because like it actually happened like ar- around that time. Yeah. Because, yeah, like grade two, I used to have the dream and then grade two, like I never like heard of that shit. Because that's when I was living there too. Yeah. It's kind of crazy. Do you, do you remember your communion? Like, remember, so in class, they would tell you, like, oh, you would have to go up to the priest and tell all your sins, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I was like, oh, my fault. Like, uh, I, I didn't, like, I stole a bunch of, like, Legos in my second grade class. And I was, like, low-key sad about it. Like, yo, this is, like, God I'm talking to, bro. Because <laughs> it was so serious. Because at the time, it's like, you're not really serious about your faith because it's just, like, a little thing. You're still a kid, mm. right? So you're not really serious about, like, the whole thing happening. But as soon as I went up there and I was like, oh, I cheated on, my, on like, my test or, like, <laughs> I, I, I hit my friend. I was like, yo, I'm going to hell. <laughs> yo, that's crazy. You know, because as a kid, as a kid, it's, like, a different perception of it, you know? Because yeah, like, we kind of grew up like that. Yeah, yeah, But looking back, it's not far off. Mm-hmm. It's really not far yeah, off. Yeah, because I thought I was going to jail, but fam. <laughs> <laughs> the holidays are the busiest time of the year. Don't get stuck worrying about shipping orders. Let ShipStation do the heavy lifting so you or your team can put your time, money, effort, and energy into more important things. Plus, when it comes to those inevitable holiday returns, ShipStation automates, recommends exchanges, and gathers customer feedback. So even if they bought the wrong size or color, they'll still have a great experience. ShipStation comes with a free trial and it's a quick, easy 
set up. And now is the time to try ShipStation if you've been on the fence. Trust me, guys, ShipStation has the best shipping rates I found personally for my brand when I'm shipping out. I trust ShipStation with all of my shipping needs. You can easily automate shipping tasks and manage orders and returns in one simple dashboard. Effortless integration everywhere you sell online, including Amazon, Etsy, eBay, Shopify, and more. ShipStation manages orders, prints shipping labels, compares rates, and optimizes every shipment and automates delivery notifications. ShipStation has enterprise solutions that reduce warehouse costs and improve profitability. ShipStation has industry-leading discounts, rates from UPS, USPS, DHL, and Global Post. You guys get discounts up to 84% off USPS and UPS rates, and over 130,000 companies have scaled their e-commerce businesses with ShipStation. That's 98% of companies and 98% of companies that stick with ShipStation for a year become customers for life. So go to ShipStation.com and use code JUMPERS today and sign up for your free 60-day trial. That's ShipStation.com, code JUMPERS, J-U-M-P-E-R-S. This episode is brought to you by BetterHelp. Honestly, guys, lately I've been going through a lot in my head working on projects and working on so many things. It's so easy for me to overthink. And one thing that really, really benefits me is being able to talk about my problems and really just find out what's been bothering me. If you ever feel like your brain is getting in its own way, there's one easy solution and honestly that's therapy. Therapy helps you figure out what's holding you back so you can work for yourself instead of against yourself. A lot of the times we feel like we have to fight these struggles on our own. That's the biggest mistake because the best thing to do to combat this is find someone else to talk to. And with a licensed therapist and with the right therapy, you guys can go through the proper coping skills and methods to help your mind ease itself. And trust me, it's not just for those people that have experienced major trauma. Everybody can benefit from therapy and it really helps you empower yourself to be the best you. So if you're thinking about therapy, give BetterHelp a try. It's entirely online, designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. Just fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched with a licensed therapist and you guys can switch therapists anytime for no additional charge. Make your brain your friend with BetterHelp. Visit betterhelp.com slash jumpers today to get 10% off your first month. That's betterhelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash jumpers, J-U-M-P-E-R-S. Good health starts with good habits and Quip makes it easy by delivering all the oral care essentials you need to care for your mouth. Coming from somebody with braces, it's so important to have the right equipment and right essentials for your oral health because the wrong ones might not get the job done. But thanks to Quip, I can keep my good habits with good essentials right here. Quip sent me their electric toothbrush with a timed sonic vibration with 30 second pulses. You guys can hear it right here. It pulses to guide a dentist recommended two minute clean. It's lightweight, sleek design for adults and kids with no wires or bulky chargers to weigh you down. Plus, it comes with a multi-use travel cover that doubles as a mirror mount for less clutter and comes with reusable handles in a range of sleek metal hues as well as bright plastic colors sure to make a pop to your bathroom counter. You guys can skip the batteries and snap into healthy habits with a new rechargeable electric toothbrush. All the features of the original Quip plus one magnetic charge powers up to three months of brushing. You guys don't have to worry about charging all the time. The Quip electric toothbrush is loved by over 9 million mouths. On top of your brushing, you can upgrade your Quip with a smart motor to track and improve your brushing with the free Quip app. And you guys can earn amazing rewards like free refills, products, target gift cards, and more. In addition to the brush heads, Quip also delivers fresh floss, toothpaste, mouthwash, and gum refills every three months from $7. With stylish and affordable electric toothbrushes just starting at $25, you won't be paying through the teeth for better oral health. If you guys go to getquip.com slash jumpers right now, you guys get 20% off any electric toothbrush, mint and gum dispenser, or water flosser. That's 20% off any electric toothbrush, mint and gum dispenser, water flosser at getquip.com slash jumpers. That's spelled G E T Q U I P dot com slash jumpers J U M P E R S Quip the Good Habits Company. Oh, there was recent news too. I don't know if you heard about this, but in the UK, I want to get his name right. Mm -hmm. So I want to get your opinion on this case. There was a, a guy named Adam Graham, right? Yeah. So <laughs> apparently, he, uh, no, no, this is not apparently. This is what happened. He, uh, what do you call it? He assaulted and arred two women, mm -hmm. right? And supposedly he said that he was transitioning into a woman 
at the time. He's a man. So what happened? Right? Yeah. So he he's started doing this just so he can avoid male prison. Oh. So, and so his lawyer started claiming, oh, uh, yeah, he's been having gender um, uh, questions since he was four. Was finessing. But at the same time, he only started transitioning after he was charged in 2020. So right now they have him, a guy who committed R, the R word, yeah. in an all female jail. You know how scary that is? It's like a kid in a candy store. Yeah, so oh, I'm like, fam, I'm like, yo, that's a crazy finesse because it's like, okay, what happens next? Can everyone say that, oh, I'm transitioning? So did he transition or it was in the midst of it? He was in the he was in the midst of it, but like so does he have a he still has male genitalia. What the fuck? Yeah, and he's in the jail right um all women jail right now. Damn. So it's like what the fuck? So is he really finessing or is he really or did he did, did he just pull a put a wig on? <laughs> that's really the question. Yo, that's cr- we're, this is in the UK? Yeah, this is the UK. Like it's still going on right now. That's why everyone's like fuming about it, like this case. Yo, you know what, bro? <clears throat> Cause somewhere you have to draw a line, right? Yeah, like <laughs> He's definitely come on, That's man. What I'm saying. Come on, man. Yeah, but at the same time, nah. <laughs> yeah, you can't like you put it, get him crazy. out. Of him. So he raped a woman. Yeah, and now he's in a woman. He's in an all woman jail with like probably women that probably got <laughs> abused, beat by other males. That's crazy, bro. Like if you search up Adam Graham right now, he's instead of like he has face tattoos and everything, he's like. I mean, no, no, yo, blur that name out. <laughs> blur that crazy. name out. He's like, he's like our friend that buys kid tickets when he's a full on adult. <laughs> That's crazy. like, you know, he's an adult, but he buys kid tickets. Oh my God. Fam, his face is like Michael Jackson pale and he has like a blonde wig on fam the fact that the police even let him in the jail is so wild to me nah that's like that's not even a laughing matter matter that's too obvious yeah it's not i feel like when it comes down to that all you have to do is open up the case and ask the public Mm -hmm. the reason i feel yo this is the thing yeah it's so hard to know what's what's wrong and right because the people that are on the jury or the Mm -hmm. people that get to decide yeah we usually don't get to see, and it usually isn't the entire population. Yeah. Remember my my theory how, like, if you wanted a true democracy, you'd give everybody an app, and we can all vote at the same yeah, time? Yeah, yeah. Would that not give, like, the best opinion? Mm-hmm. Because we're all tapping in as a collective at the exact time. Yeah, but it, it's not efficient, though. Like, Why? You know how mans have jury duty? Mm-hmm. So they pick a certain spot, and juries usually... It's either two months or a year even. You think, because if we're voting, we need to know every detail about that case. No, but I feel... So it's okay, like, I see. it's not a yes or no. Because if see. it would, if it was, yeah, that's blessed. I see, but we have the technology to do that. Yeah, like a quick summary, but I feel yeah. like we still wouldn't... Fam, we have the technology and the money. Let's yeah. be real. They're putting money into crazy shit right now. Yeah. <sighs> They're putting money into... Do we definitely have the money? To hire fucking like podcasters to explain the case <laughs> like this shit, I like and then you back. guys decide I like, like yes or no. Feel me? <laughs> no, I don't know, man. Because it, yo, it takes way more than just a little summary and a yes or no. You know what I mean? Because fam, if if we, no one's gonna stop their their nine to five job just to okay, let me tune into this case real quick. Everyone, break. No, but what what if like you can choose to decide, like you can choose to tune in or not. Okay, maybe. You know what I mean? Like yeah, it doesn't have to work. be it doesn't have to be a you're forced to and yeah. it doesn't have to be a a private thing. It can be like a, a open like if you want to participate, you can participate. But maybe that there's flaw there because it's like people get forced to do jury duty. People don't want to do jury duty in the first place. So it's like cuz it's free. It's you don't get paid for jury duty. I don't, I don't mm-hmm. think so. So I feel like if you're not getting paid, man's wouldn't even tune in. That's why they pe- they force people to go in. So Oh, yo, Loki, it is flawed. Because yeah. then, let's say you're you're popular, mm-hmm. and then you send, like, all your homies to come in, yeah. and then choose, like, yo, vote this, vote it's this. It's too much, yeah, it's too much, like, sh- yeah. factors that can affect it. That's a it. good yeah. point, still. Uh, like, the people in power would stay in power mm-hmm. longer. Exactly. Yeah. And it's not so obvious type of thing. Facts, exactly. Damn! Yeah. I guess there is no way. Yeah, you can, fam. Because it's, like, it's biased. I, I read a, a case, too, where... um. Some guy killed a person on live TV mm-hmm. and he only got probation. Oh, shit. You know what I mean? So, like, there was a... Uh, here, let me give you his name. Okay, so his name was Gary, right? Mm-hmm. And he knew 
that his son was getting abused by this guy. And like he set up a whole plan to catch him at the right time, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm gonna tell you the whole backstory. So Gary had um a little boy. His name uh, was Joey, I think, right? Mm -hmm. And he put him in karate. So the the guy that was uh supposedly supposedly teaching him karate, his name was Jeffrey, he was essaying him the whole time. Oh shit. So Joey would send him to class yeah. and he would get like R the yeah, whole yeah, time, yeah. right? And he took it a step further because Jeffrey was like, okay, since I'm getting away with it, might as well go full out with it, right? So Jeffrey booked a hotel. I think it was in Louisiana, I think. And he called uh, He called uh, Jody, the little boy. He said, okay, tell your parents we're doing another lesson somewhere else. Mm. So he took him, did crazy things. I can't even say this shit because it's a trigger warning. Mm -hmm. But after that, he's so stupid that he said, okay, lesson's done. Call your mom to pick you up, right? Yeah. So Jody, obviously, he's 11. He's He knows what's going on. He's going to tell his parents what's going on. Yeah. Fam, the guy stayed at the hotel. Police came right away, raided the hotel, right? Mm -hmm. And his dad, his dad the next day on the news, he was like, he was crying. He's like, yo, my little boy, I sent it up for karate. I feel so helpless. Like, I, this could have all been avoided, right? Yeah. So the next week, he knew that um Jeffrey was going to go through the airport since he had trial that week. Oh, I know what's happening. Right? Oh, shit. So, so he Jeffrey is walking through the airport in handcuffs with a couple officers, right? Yeah. Je uh, the Gary, he goes in with uh, hat, sunglasses, and he he's taking a, f uh, a phone call, mm -hmm. but it's a fake phone call. So the moment uh, Jeffrey walks by with the officer, he takes a handgun, five, goes five, like five. this, but one shot to the head. He went like this, fam, so you can't even aim. Yeah. But he shot him right in the head. This guy's Bop. John Wick, no yeah, look. Yeah, jo John oh, Wick on a, on a fake phone call. Bop. And you can t see, like, the cameraman was perfect, uh, perfectly pointed, Bullet straight to his Damn. head. Damn. And like the cameraman was like, oh shit. That was the dad. <laughs> that was the dad. So he That's his justice. Yeah. So he took his revenge, but he only got probation. Yeah, so wait, he got probation for, for killing. Yeah, he got probation and um just like community service. But low key, he should have got more because it's yeah, murder. Yeah, it is murder. Yeah. It is murder, but at the same time, like, look, back in the day, there's this thing called frontier justice. Mm -hmm. You know what that is? Like no. in the Wild West. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, so like if uh, you do s somebody wrong, then you can do them wrong because they did that wrong. Yeah, yeah. That's called like frontier justice. Obviously, like ending life and murder is not right. It's not right, yeah. It's not right, and we should avoid it. But in the sense of that case, as you yourself in that position, yeah, it might feel right for you. 100. Because that's, you know I mean? that's your son. Yeah, it might feel right for you. Yeah. I'm not saying it's wrong, mm -hmm. I'm not saying it's right. It's definitely not ethical. <laughs> yeah, facts. Definitely not ethical, but, but it might be it's right a for crazy. You, yeah, you know? it's a crazy revenge story. And even on the the interview, he was like, "Yo, I would do it ten times again." I'm like, "Yo, fuck yeah!" Like, I, I low key support it because, fam, you're getting back for your son because mm. it's already trauma on him. Yeah, and you're you're risking your life. Might as well. Okay, I have a question. I have a really good question okay, for okay. you, and this relates to <laughs> Attack on Titan. Okay, because Attack on Titan just finished. Now, yeah. I really need your opinion. Okay, check this out. So, Aaron Yeager, the main character of Attack on Titan. Yeah. His goal was to destroy the rest of civilization because they are trying to kill his people. Okay. Now, every single other country, every single other person, they're against his people, have put them in prejudice, have put them, like, literally deem them as monsters because they can turn into Titans. Okay, okay. Now, they're dangerous, though. They are dangerous. Mm. But he decided... To use the power to retaliate. Because if they don't attack... Yeah, they're going to kill, get killed. They're, they're going to be eradicated from history. Okay, okay. So is Aaron Yeager right about going to try and kill the world for his people? Fuck. But his people are dangerous. Mm. His people are dangerous, man. His people are dangerous. They so can he turn. wanted to kill everyone else but his people and just have his people. Yeah. Now I have a theory. That's a good question. Now I have a theory because it ties into the end of Attack on Titan. Yeah. Check this out. At the end of Attack on Titan, fam, it shows what happens. Spoiler. My bad. Spoiler, yeah, yeah. spoiler, spoiler. Like this is a big, big spoiler. Like, <laughs> yeah. Nah, that's big spoiler. Uh-huh. Aaron Yeager dies. He gets killed in his attempt to destroy the rest of the world. Mm -hmm. But what happens? They show. His head gets buried, right? Because that's like all that's left of him. Yeah. He gets buried at this tree. 
and there's a time lapse of the tree mm -hmm. and it shows what happens to his people's land okay over centuries and what happens is even though that titans no longer exist mm -hmm. even though his people are no longer a danger war still happened war still happened, war still happened. they kept fighting and the same shit went on and on and on mm. and history repeated itself but yeah if aaron yeager succeeded would he have been right but they didn't give that side they only gave the ones that that side never existed so ah. was aaron right fam was he right because if you think about it this way yeah if everybody on earth that was left was a titan i don't think they, they wouldn't be. be fighting because they're that's yeah. their people the moment, <gasps> yeah, but the, the fucked up part is you're killing like 80% of humanity. Mm. No, because it, it sucks that you told me that because now I think he's right because mm -hmm. there's a bias now. But Loki, when you first told me the question, you it's think like he's wrong. Utilitarianism is like the, try, try to not kill as much people. Like if there's 20% of the giants and 80% of the world, fuck it, just get rid of the giants because it's less. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I, I would say that. Yeah, but now with that idea he was technically right with the ending he was right yeah with the ending he might have been right fam but he might have also been wrong because it's like what if there's a it would have happened the same thing if there was titans that reproduced the would have the cycle would have continued no matter what no 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 because um because titans titans can they can change back in oh yeah weird. like like loki well, that's more dangerous no no his people his people <laughs> are controlled by Aaron and Whoever like has his power yeah. can control them to like not be titans. He can mm. actually he can actually like take away the titan ability if he really wants to. That's fucked. Yeah. So that's if, wrong if you too. Left, I know, but if you left it in his hands, yeah. No, it, then he would go power crazy. Then no, no, because no, there's no. no one else fighting for but him. But you have to know his character though. Okay. Yeah. Look, like you have to look. You know his character. He's not like that. <laughs> he's not really like that. Okay. But you never know. You never know. You right? never know. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, yeah. You never really know. Mm -hmm. But the theory is like. He might have just been right anyway, because if the same thing happened, yeah, and more war happened, like yeah, you saved like life, yeah. yeah, but it's like the Thanos thing. You know the Thanos theory, how mm -hmm. Thanos is right, yeah, how he snapped away fifty percent of the population, so the other fifty percent can live in the world with more resources mm -hmm. and they can live happier and they can remember the the past. Mm -hmm. Thanos, you know what I mean? Like, obviously it's fucked up because, like, taking away half of society. Yeah, yeah. But it kind of does give a perspective of, like, you better in enjoy what you have. Yeah. 100%. And that's kind of what happened, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. Did you like the ending or no? Or Attack, Attack on Titan? Titan? Yeah, because this could low-key spike another. Sp Spider-Man was trash. Like, everyone was... <laughs> no, no, no. I think, I think the common, the common um, take is that it was really good because yeah, I, yeah. I think it's really good. Okay. Theory, though... So at the end, at the end of Attack on Titan, uh -huh. uh, you know how the tree, it was going through different like centuries uh -huh. and different timelines. Now, after you see the tree and then like the different buildings growing up, there was a nuclear explosion. Yeah. And it was almost like a hard reset. Oh, so shit. after the nuclear explosion, it's obviously a nuclear wasteland. And there was a boy that came to the tree. The fuck? Right? <laughs> but the boy, the theory is... That he is actually uh, Ackerman, one of the descendants of Mikasa and Levi mm. in the anime. Yeah. Because, the theory goes, because his characteristics, he's a survivor. He survived the, the nuclear whole, war. Yeah. And the Ackermans were known for being really good fighters, right. survivors, and those type of people with a lot of perseverance. Yeah. And it looked like with the black hair of the Ackermans. Now, check this out. Uh -huh. This is what's even crazier. That tree, it's the same tree that the founder of Titans in general, mm -hmm. when it began, came across to get the power of Titans. Oh, so it's almost like the whole thing relapsed. Mm -hmm. It was a hard reset, but instead of instead of um, this girl, Ymir, her name's Ymir, the founder, getting the power from the tree off of just randomly yeah. it would probably come from aaron's head oh shit because it probably held the yeah, like yeah. the titan in it damn the titan power. are they trying to say something then because you know war is going on right now and it just repeats and it repeats like once once this shit goes another world forms they're trying to tell us through that see the sad thing is is there's like a winner and a loser mm -hmm. and depending on your team that wins yeah 
it becomes peace for your team. You know yeah. what I mean? Mm-hmm. Which is sad though. Like obviously you want to like be able to conjoin both sides and yeah. just call it peace. Mm-hmm. But it I doesn't bet. really happen like that. Yeah. Sadly. I know. There was some shit too. Where it was like, I saw it was like, yeah, money is cool and all, but your gravestone is waiting for you. What do you want to uh, get written on it? And I'm like, holy shit. Yeah. At the end of the day, if this shit all goes by, I'm not going to have my fucking money when I go into the grave. Mm. It's like, I'd rather know, get known for my legacy. You know what I mean? Mm. And like money makes people do a lot of stupid shit, right? Yeah. So I it, I don't know if you heard this case too, but it's recent. But some woman killed her boyfriend for $30 million mm. And she didn't even get the money. Wait, what? She what, didn't what even do, get the money. What the fuck she do? Yeah, so this whole like email scam was going around, right? Where it was supposed to be... So a guy, anonymous person would email you saying, oh yeah, I'm your relative cousin. Like, I... I, I heard of these. You heard of yeah, those? Yeah, I heard yeah, of she's these. she's like, oh yeah, I have 30 million waiting for, me, you, uh, waiting for you. I just have to meet up with you, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. So this boyfriend was like, holy shit, 30 mil? Like, I, I, I'm in need of it, right? So he's like emailing it back. Oh yeah, I'll set up a time, a place, whenever you want to meet, right? So the, the woman knew that that guy was going to meet up with that person at that certain time, right? Mm. She's like... No, I have rights to that too. Like, uh, I heard from close friends, you're just going to leave me and give it to all your kids, right? But she didn't tell the boyfriend that. Yeah. She, all she did was, before that guy was supposed to go to the airport and meet with the 30 million guy, she was like, oh, honey, I have tea for you, mm-hmm. right? She gave the tea. The guy drank it. Fam, in the tea, there was antifreeze. Oh, so, you're poisoned. Yeah, on oh. the way to the airport, she, he, she went with him. She was like, oh, where's this guy? Guy never came. Uh, after he told her that, the guy was like, oh, I'm feeling sick. I'm feeling sick. Everybody's like, yo, call the ambulance. Call the yeah, ambulance. Yeah, yeah. The woman was like, nah, he's just having a heat stroke. I'm, I'll just take him back to the place. Mm. Right? After he, she knew this was all fake. So she waited till the next day. She's like, nah, we're, I'm going to call the ambulance later. Boom. Fuck. Called the ambulance. Already dead. No need to, no need to bring the ambulance. Fuck. Fam, imagine the she risked it all for thirty mil for that, no reason. <laughs> Damn, they both lost. She didn't get the thirty mil. She went to jail for life. The guy died. Damn, this is why stupidity is fucking dangerous, Fam, bro. It sounds like a fake story, but this is real. Like, yeah, there's some crazy people there's out some there. Crazy stuff. Crazy people. Like, Damn. it makes me fucking. <clears throat> Yo, how do you get caught off of emails? Is this recent? Uh, I don't know. Okay, okay. This has to be like 2005. Low-key, yeah, low-key. Because getting caught off an email scam in like 2023, that's crazy, bro. Oh my. Off an email scam in 2020? Nah. Yeah, I don't. I, there's no date, but... It had to be like 2007. If this is recent, nah, it's crazy. Because they, ha- they had to have like a, a AI voice message too. Like, yeah, I'm ready with the money, bro. Yeah. Because there's no way there's I'm no falling way. for that. There's no way. There's too many stories already. 30 mil is crazy. There's way too many stories. Yeah. But... Around that era of like 2005, 2006, yeah. my Lola, she got an email from like um, a nun from uh-huh. the Philippines that knew her. Okay. Her email got hacked and it was asking for like money for the church and shit like that. Yeah, yeah. It ended up being a scam. Word. Mm-hmm. Well, what was she asking for? Like, what was the nun was asking just, for? It was like money for, I forgot. It was like the church needed something. Word. But it wasn't even, like, it wasn't even true. True. Like, they, they called on the phone, like, oh, what? Yeah. I don't even have email. Yeah. One Especially thing like I want, <laughs> one thing I notice about Filipinos though is like even though they might be like making minimum wage in Canada, right? They'll still send a bunch of money to their to their family back in Philippines, even though they're doing shit here. Yeah. And Philippines is way like if you send like a hundred dollars Canadian, that's that's hella money in the Philippines, right? So mm-hmm. like they'll li- be living blessed, but even though you, like your aunt is living in Canada, they'll send whatever they have, mm. like old clothes. They'll send even though they're struggling. Yeah. And I'm like, yo, that's that's kind of crazy because it's like, even though they're living blessed, like why, like yo, take care of yourself first. You know what I mean? Like sometimes mm. I question it. Like, w- what if they're just running a scheme down in the Philippines? It's like, oh, they're using your money to to just do drugs. And yeah, shit. we like, never know. You never know. You it's never like, really know unless you're down there yourself. Yeah. That's the thing. And it's sad to to have that thought in your back of your head, yeah. but like, the the most you can do is just you know give anyway. Mm, yeah. Because if you give, it's a it's a it's a sign of positivity, mm-hmm. and the way it's reciprocated, that's okay. You did yeah. your part. That's true, me? that's true. As long as you do your part, and has good intention. Yeah. Whatever happens afterward mm-hmm. wasn't your fault. I guess yeah. You know, you did your part. It's, it's 
Yeah, <laughs> you no. say that say that to the man's in like a, a Ponzi or like a triangle scheme. <laughs> you gave your money, you did your part. <laughs> that guy at the top, fam. Thank you, bro. <laughs> yeah, you, like honestly. No, okay, I was saying for you after okay. the podcast. Okay, okay. I, I don't want to. I don't want to say it on here. I don't yeah, want to say yeah, it on yeah. this podcast. So. Okay, but but the funny shit too is like the era when mans were doing like um, what was that era? It was like the crypto. No, 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 no it was a no. uh, loom. No, no, the looms. No, no, where ah, oh, there was another era. Forex. Forex. Yeah. So so mans would dress up in like That's suit ties. Scheme too, yeah. Yeah, and like invite mans in Airbnbs, right? And they would. They would on their video they're like, yeah, we're living nice. We're living nice. Look at this house. Mm-hmm. But fam, you're you're renting an Airbnb with like twelve people in it, <laughs> <laughs> and you're like, they're screaming random shit. They're like, uh, efficiency, uh, lifestyle. <laughs> like they're just screaming. Because sh- the way it works is like the more people you have on your backing, then yeah. you make off of them. I wonder like where they are now. Like, it's like <laughs> a cult. It's almost like a cult. Yeah, like, yeah. Somebody owns you under whoever's underneath you uh-huh. type of thing. It's like. These people on top, but mm-hmm. it gets more and more and more people on the yeah, bottom. Yeah. And all of these people, they're getting their money like sifted through. Yeah. And, and supposedly in Ontario, mm. somebody was running a, a pigeon scheme, a what's Ponzi a, what's scheme. What's a pigeon scheme? So so there was like a big farmer, right? Yeah. Who got a bunch of other farmers. He's like, yo, I'm a, there's this new trend coming up well, where they're going to sell pigeons for racing or meat, right? Oh, shit. So it was on a, in Ontario. The guy held a farm. I think it was a Pigeon King International. Yeah. He had a bunch of pigeons ready to sell. He's like, yo, I just need investments. Like, this is going to go crazy, right? Mm. Fam, he had like, I think he made 42 mil and cut. Mm. So every farmer was like, yeah, um, racing pigeons, that's going to be the new trend. Oh, they're going to use pigeon meat. Fam, no one uses pigeon meat. There's no yeah, market yeah, for that. Even... What the hell? So he just made that whole like <laughs> lore up. <laughs> he made that whole lore. They gave him money and he did, fam. Damn. Got taken down right away. And all he had to pay was like 16 million at court and he kept the rest oh that's that's blessed what the fuck so how much you make like total <laughs> yeah like maybe like in gross profit maybe like 20 30 mil yeah <laughs> oh shit that's a, that's a lot it's a big finesse that's a lot. bro yeah there's a whole documentary on it <laughs> the craziest uh scam uh-huh. that I've ever seen it was on a movie i think it's i think it's a uh, zombie land yeah but check check out what they did this girl She's like, uh, I want to say kind of in like her late 20s. Uh-huh. She would go to a gas station, okay. park her car up, and then be on the floor of the gas station, like looking around on the ground. Yeah. Uh, it's like she's looking worried and shit. Now, the gas station clerk mm-hmm. will come outside and see what? A pretty girl looking on the ground for something. Okay. So a gas station clerk would say, oh, uh, you need help? What are you looking for? And she would go... Oh, I'm looking for my my wedding ring. It's it's worth like 300k, oh, fuck. 500k, right? Yeah, yeah. And then, but she says to the clerk, mm-hmm. oh, I I really have to go though because I'm gonna miss my flight. Blah blah blah. This and that. Yeah. And he says, Don't worry. Give me your number. I'll call you and I'll look for it. You can go ahead. Okay. Now this is what happens next. A little girl would come a couple hours later, and while the store clerk sees her she picks up a ring mm-hmm. and she would go oh look i found a ring and then the clerk would go up to her and say okay um wait that's my friend's ring can i have it she said no are you dumb i found it yeah it's like and she would go i know how much this is worth you have to pay me some money the little girl the little girl <laughs> so the circle is like, damn, okay, fuck. How much you want? I want five thousand. So okay. he gives her five thousand dollars because obviously the, the ring is worth more. Yeah, yeah. Gives her five thousand dollars. That is a crazy. Boom. She takes the she takes the money, hops back into the car beside the girl that dropped the ring. That dropped the ring. And she just came up on five k. Came up on five k. Yo, and that ring is probably like what? It was a fake ring. Oh my god, that's. <laughs> Ray, that's it was a, a fake diamond. <laughs> that's a two-step plan, fam. They're, they're probably hitting every gas station too. Yeah, and that's what they did in Zombieland. They they like uh, what do you call it? Road trip. Yeah. And they just kept going. I don't know if it was five k. It might have been like five hundred. So um, yeah, you do that five times, fam. You're yeah, you, <laughs> in a day. Fam? No matter what, like however much yeah. you get is crazy. <laughs> like any fuck. money you get, like these these rings are probably worth like yeah, like two bucks nah, less than finessers. But bro. they look like real diamonds because you can't yeah. really tell. How are you supposed to tell that Holy shit? Shit. 
Yeah, fam. Real finessers, bro. You were a finesser back then, but that's a story after. Like, <laughs> what the fuck? I'm going to tell you it after, too. <laughs> okay, but there's also a, a big finesse that's going on, too. Uh, Tyson Fury. There's yeah. a whole... Did you hear about the whole Tyson Fury theory? How he always cheats in every fight? Well, he goes like this? Yeah, okay. Uh, and how he has no padding in his glove, too. Yeah. So he recent... Uh, I No, no, it's not recently, but in the past, before he started his fight, the when the ref, like, checks your glove and stuff, his glove had detachable thumbs, so... Whenever he, like he hit, he would have his fist in a in like a, a ball already because he would slip out his fist and like there would be no no thumb no mm. thumb in his boxing glove. So whenever he hit, he would he would hit with this part of the glove and the glove where it had no padding in. Mm-hmm. So you go like this, like plah, right yeah, in your, yeah, right yeah. in your jaw. And then a trainer, a famous trainer, went into his camp. And he was showing Tyson's sparring gloves. Mm-hmm. He squeezed it. You know when Mayweather's thing was like, we're not fighting with no, these fucking gloves. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like he did one of those. He's like, Fam, yo, you can feel your knuckle through it. Mm. So I'm like, yo, what what else is going through his camp? Because it's like, that. Is that why how he fucking even knocked it out? It is a conspiracy theory because yeah. there is a debunking of it. Oh, that, there is? Yeah. Because the way he fights is like this. But that's so... No, but this is crazy. No, 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 but... It looks like that only in slow motion. Oh, really? Yeah. So Joe Rogan, they debunked it. Oh, for real? Mm -hmm. In slow motion, you can see it. It looks like it's there's nothing in there, but off a motion like this, like look, if if I had if I stiffen my my thing, yeah, I went like this. It looks like it flops. Mm. You know what I mean? Okay. It looks like it flops because the motion of the whole arm. Yeah. It's a whip. Damn. But obviously, it's secured. Mm. And it gives that illusion that it, it whips back. Yeah, yeah. It, you can only see that in slow motion. Okay, like if you watch okay. it in regular fighting, like yeah, he might have like hit on the side. Like yeah. it's, it's still a theory. I, I don't know. This for one sure. is clear. This one is clear. But maybe the flicking is allowed. Yeah. Like I don't know for sure. It's still mm-hmm. a theory. Yeah. But that's just like Joe Rogan's take on it. That's true. That's true. You don't know because the the craziest one was the the boxer that was paralyzed for life. You heard about that? Oh, in the back of the head? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That one's crazy. Mm -hmm. And um, there's another fighter that fought Manny Pacquiao that it was suspected that he might have tried to cheat with Manny Pacquiao because he was known for cheating before with plaster in his gloves. Oh, Cotto? No, no, no. His name was a Margarito. Oh, Margarito. Yeah, yeah. he's super big. Mm -hmm. Now, check this out. I think when Manny Pacquiao beat him up, did you see his face? His face was was like really fucked up. Yeah, it was not Margarito no more. And it looked like what he was doing to his opponents before with, right. with a plaster. I'm not saying Manny Paco had it. What I'm saying is yeah, yeah. it's almost like a karma thing or it's almost like a get back mm. for all the other people that got their face messed up yeah, by yeah. him because he had plaster in his gloves. Word. Manny Paco really fucked him up. Yeah, low key. Bro looked like a stamp. Yeah, I know. You know what I mean? Because I don't know if he's like the only one, but he's the only one that I've seen that goes to the corner and prays first. Mm. So it's like, yo, he could have unlimited power on his side fam like if you're if you're cheating god sees that fam yeah man pacquiao probably got like 10 plus attributes that night <laughs> this, like, this, this, this is funny ass uh i think key and peel skit uh-huh. where it was <laughs> wait i'm gonna show you yeah, let me see, let's let me watch see. it this shit is so joke bro they have to bring but, that, but, those back but it shows um this is so accurate because let's you see. know how in ufc there's some fighters that go god sent me here to destroy you <laughs> <What> the- <laughs> yeah, yeah like this. adesanya like i'm ready to die <laughs> Here, look, look. This is so funny, bro. Watch it, watch it. Uh. This not even gonna be. <laughs> this Saturday night, this not even gonna be a fight. I'm on mercy. This is a regular fighter. Man. God trust me for this fight. <laughs> and the other Brazilian fighters God, like this, bro. Teacher. Derek is the student, and I am God's <laughs> instrument. When I squeeze your lungs, Derek, <laughs> and you beg me for life, then your heart will open up. It has up to pan back to him. I'm going to knock him out. Round one, bitch. <laughs> Wait. What did he say? <laughs> that God chose him. God. That doesn't even make sense, really. <laughs> when you eat through plastic too. When you are paralyzed He's crying. He's crying. Town, no. Then your family what the f- will gather around oh, the hospital fun. bed <laughs> to see the new day. <laughs> Okay, he, he know we just talking, right? <laughs> no, at the end of the day, fam, nah, Loki man should start doing that more because it does freak a fighter out, it's fam. It's scary, bro. It's scary as fuck. If I was fighting against a fighter yeah. that's so, like, serious on that, yeah. 
Damn, I would second guess. I'm not gonna lie. Like, like I always say, like you can't fuck with crazy. Like when Adesanya said that that I'm gonna die right here. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. he won. He won. There's no mm. way. <laughs> no, there's a different thing you tap into, especially when you're like you 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 take out a little bit of you know what it is. Yeah. You take out the this fear. Is just fear. Yeah, I was gonna yeah, say. Yeah, you it's take just out fear. all fear out of you. Mm -hmm. And it was that moment. Remember that moment I was opening the jar. Yeah. <laughs> It doesn't matter if yeah. I created new physics. <laughs> like, I was going to open the that shit jar. Was gonna, <laughs> shit was going to open. Regardless of what uh, happened, my fingers were going to bleed. Yeah. Shit was going to open. Yeah, exactly. But I think it w when you hit that, like, moment of it, and you can really tap into that, because I've been really trying to tap into that with working out, with everything I do. You can really, really do that, and you'll see a huge difference in your life, especially on the little things. Because mm. it's the little things that matter. It's like those times where you feel too lazy to get out of bed. The moment like you really like fight it. Mm -hmm. And the harder the fight, the more rewarding the feeling is after. Mm -hmm. Because it's almost like a you you shown yourself that you can really overcome something that's so fucking hard for you to do. Yeah. And it proves to you that you're worthy of what's to come. Yeah, you know it, ticks mean? Off, it ticks off something in your brain now. It's like, oh, and the impossible is no longer possible. I mean, like, impossible. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. like, for you to, to give up on some shit, even if it's small, yeah. those little things, It'll that come shit back adds to up. You. That shit yeah, adds yeah. up. If you're always quitting and stuff, like, at a point of time, you're like, oh, yeah, is shit even possible no more? It's just like, the even when you said, you're like, oh, don't say a certain word. It's like, if... Yeah, I never say yeah, if, if it's, it's like when, it, when yeah. it's gonna happen. Like, because you, know you know said if or like you don't believe it, yeah. you already don't deserve it. Yeah. But yo, that that fighter remind me of the the Alex Pereira because yeah. like whenever he, whenever he goes in the ring, only two emotions: he's smiling and then he's like, you know <laughs> the Kanye, Alex Pereira. Yeah. And then I don't know why, but the UFC did this dumbass game with him on, on the interview. He's like, okay, Alex, we're gonna do different emotions and you're gonna act them out, right? Mm -hmm. So he said frustrated, <laughs> angry, and then happy. And then back to mad. <laughs> like, he only had... It was stone face every time except happy, Is it emoting? Is emoting. Bro, what if there was a fighter? Yeah. I don't know if there is a fighter like this. Yeah, like Mr. No. Mr. Miyagi, like, Shifu type you, fighter. You know how there's, like, a drunken master fight? Oh, yeah, yeah. What if there's, like, a... A flamboyant, like, mm. sus fighter that made you, like, throw sus. you off? <clears throat> Mm. <laughs> like when you're in clinch, he like grabs your ass. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> like no, no, dead ass though. Yeah. Like no pause. Yeah, yeah. But that fighter would would Loki disrupt the game. Yeah, but the, he would he would no. Oh, but you have to be good why, though. Why is that not allowed? That is allowed. That it's, is allowed because it's contact sport. Yeah, Adesanya did it. He squeezed someone's ass. Yeah, exactly. Now, like for example, imagine you're fucking in in jujitsu. Yeah. Fucking uh, what do you call it? Like a scramble. <laughs> And then bro's like caressing your face. Oh, that's weird. It would throw you the fuck off, no? Yeah, that is weird. That would throw you the fuck off, damn. But at the same time, like this fighter was like, like Nate Diaz. If a man caresses him like that, you're gonna get fucked up. Like he, he might, no, he but, might turn off that fear of like, yo, what the hell? That's no, but, so but when you get into that, your tunnel vision. Yeah. And then the other fighter will outsmart you. Because if you're using those tactics, you're already a smart fighter. I don't know, man. <laughs> nah, bro. I get a picture with a I'm man like this. No, no. I'm onto he something. Would, you're caressing me. Leave like, down in the comments right now. <laughs> yeah, though, what if, the fuck? if my tactic might work, Loki, it might work, bro. No, like, bro. you remember that street fight thing where they tested, you pull your pants down and they all run away? Oh, yeah, yeah. It's the I same. I said that. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's the same effect. It was Vitaly, right? The Vitaly yeah, prank yeah. video where uh -huh. he pulled down his pants. Ah, oh, but you're in a cage though. There's different factors. Like in a cage, like if so that happens, okay, and you have to win, and it's for money. Fuck, I have to beat. I have to beat this guy up no matter what. In a fight, in a street fight, no, yeah, but, yeah. But that's my point. Like you'll be so enraged. Like mm. if you're if you're that type of person, you'll be so enraged, and you'll have yeah. tunnel vision. And when you're tunnel vision, that's exactly what you want More. because they don't see around it. Yeah, and I mean you outsmart somebody that's like that. That's true. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe Leave down in the comments. I, I might be onto something. Sports may not allow that though, because there's a, a bunch of hidden shit in sports too. No, because it's like they wouldn't. It's contact sport, especially if you're like, you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. If you can punch somebody in the face, you can definitely go like this to their face. <laughs> a lie, but it's like why, why waste that caress where you could just hit them if, if you're that. No, close? but like it throws you off. A lot of fighting is the mindset. I guess. Yeah. A lot yeah. of fighting is the mindset. Mm -hmm. It might work like a couple times, but I feel you know what? I don't know. You would have to get used to it. Yeah, because I. What if that fucking theory right now? What if I just created a fucking a new tactic in fighting? Just be us. No, and then it becomes a thing, and it becomes like a form of 
of art. Of art. <laughs> This guy's gonna be the sus martial arts, bro. Yo, no, it could be a thing because right. just how just how there's like the drunken master guy like was saying, there's a drunken mm. master type of way. There could easily be that type of way of fighting because mm. it definitely does like disrupt the the mind. Yeah, I guess maybe. Are, are you allowed to touch the groin during fight? No, probably not, right? Because that would throw a man off. I, I have no idea what the rules. <laughs> yeah, because if they add that rule in and like you add that martial art of sus and like you're going in and instead of punching the groin, you just, just I don't think it. you can touch the, touch the groin, nah. Okay, yeah. Because if you do... That's too out the way, man. Because if you get hit there, you can't. Yeah, But exactly. I'm sure like if you can get punched in the face, you uh-huh. can easily like tap their face like in a... Word. Maybe. In a, in a you know what I mean? Yeah. Sexual way. That's true. Yo, there, there was also some guy on a podcast, Evan Turner. He was a, a player for Philly. Mm-hmm. And um, he was talking about how um, the betting and like people betting on the games really affects the NBA. Yeah. And supposedly he's blacklisted or like, like he can't say other things about it, right? Because mm-hmm. he was actually in the NBA. So there was a game seven between, um, uh, I think, Philly and Boston, right? And Miami was waiting for them in the finals, right? So... Evan was like, yo, I'm hyped for this game. We actually have a chance to win, right? And one of his teammates goes, yo, bro, you know that to win, this is going to be the hardest game of your life because you need to win by 15 just to win by one. You get what I'm saying? Nah. So th- he said, you need to be win by 15 just to win by one. Why? Why? So Philly needs to beat Boston by 15 so the or so many points where the refs can affect the game. So oh. if they if it's a close game, oh. where do you think the refs are going to blow their whistle to I more? Yeah, yeah. Boston versus Miami. Everyone wants to see that. Even the Philly fans were like, yo, no one's going to pay to watch Philly versus Miami. Mm. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So they're like, yo, just to win this game, we have to win by 20. And mm. they lost that game. Damn. Because so it was it close. Work. Yeah. Oh, shit. And the truth came out. Like, he, he wasn't scared to say it, but then right after he got blacklisted. Damn. Did we talk about the Tom Brady thing? Uh, the deflating ball? What? No. Which one? Yo, you know the theory how Tom Brady, why he always wins? No. Wait, you don't know this? Why? Why? So, Tom Brady came out in interviews many times. Wait, it's because he had a witch girlfriend or something? Yeah. Oh, okay. You did yeah, talk yeah. about that, right? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, So, yeah. he says that his girlfriend... <laughs> yo, this is crazy. Yeah, it's actually fun. If you think about how many times he's won the Super Bowl, mm. man, his girlfriend... Creates rituals for him, creates mantras for him, That's and fun. does dead ass spells for him to win the Super Bowl. Yeah. Crazy. That's so crazy. And he says it out loud, bro. Yeah. And he credits it to her. Mm-hmm. Loki, she she owes a ring, bro. Yeah. At the same time, it's like you never know too, because he might just be that good. Because maybe the wish it doesn't really work. I mean, he is the most unathletic. He, yeah, that's goat. what I'm saying. So, oh, that, he's, that got, a, he's the most unathletic goat, right? That kind of does justify it too. This guy ran like a a, a seven on like the 100 meter dash. That's so unathletic. But man. then you go and then say like, because the brain is a muscle too. Yeah. Maybe you just can't see how hard this one is working. Yeah. That's a bar. Oh mm. shit! It's so true though. Like yeah. you don't you don't see when a chess player is really working because you don't see his physical muscles. Mm-hmm. But the brain is probably mad powerful. Yeah. Yeah. You know. Like, I, I'm really, really curious to see. Like, imagine if you could see somebody's capacity of their brain. Like, Word. from the outside. Maybe it's so powerful, like it's not mirror. meant to be seen. Oh, sh- yeah, know? no, because we can't trigger our full brain. Because it's that powerful, like, it's not meant to be seen. Yeah. D- but do you think there's... It's a, maybe it's a safety thing, too. Yeah. Because what if you could see other people and how smart they are? Would you want to befriend them more? Would you, would you treat them differently? Maybe it is like a defense yeah. mechanism so that you can't see it. Oh, like your head? That you're not be able to tell to like tell. how how their brain is. Mm. I guess you can tell by other things like how they carry themselves, how they speak. Yeah. But you can't tell physically. Like, mm. for example, you can kind of tell somebody has a big piece if they have a big bulge pause. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you know what I mean? Like you can tell someone has big shoulders that have big wide frame. Mm. But you can't see if somebody has a big brain. Yeah, or because has like a really powerful brain. Yeah, because you know the new Apple um update where like you go to people's phone now and now it says info about yourself right away. Because mm-hmm. now it's like okay, that's a small thing, but like you said, maybe it goes to a next level. It's like now we can see everyone's info somewhere else. Like it will just like a Black Mirror episode is like he- levitating in front of mm-hmm. us. So it's like yeah, maybe that all that info shit is really supposed to be kept private because everyone would treat everyone different. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because the only people we judge right now really is homeless people because we know, oh yeah, they're homeless. You know, everyone else is is regular. But now input 
or put my bank account uh, like floating while I'm walking around, oh, put your bank account walking around, maybe more people are going to befriend you or be nice to you just because. What if it becomes like watchdogs though? What if it becomes like your information yeah, you can, beside yeah, you? Yeah, it's not even levitating. It's just like, like, you, you can, can just go like, like tap into it and yeah. see. Yeah. It's like, weird. Like, let me check that person, like scope in. And yeah. Like, boop. Like even the the Keith Lee stuff when he's going to Atlanta, he ha- he's has such a big impact that he has to uh f- uh call on a an anonymous number and he has to change his voice. Oh shit! Yeah. Does he actually yeah, have to? Yeah, fam, that? he shut down hella Atlanta restaurants. You heard about that? Damn. So milk and honey, milk and honey is the big one that everyone's roasting because they they treated him like shit. Like everyone's saying that oh yeah he came in with uh like his his mom or no his um his girlfriend and daughter I think came yeah. in. And like they they wouldn't give him service, mm. but the moment he walked in, oh shit, Keith Lee, er, yo, give him a table, oh, <laughs> give him yeah, a table, yeah, yeah. right? And he's like, he's like, yo, that's not right. Like you should treat everyone the same, which is great, mm. you know what I mean? But he shut that one down. And Atlanta restaurants usually have that, um, like, uh, what do you call it? They're used to treating people bad. Mm. So he went to hella, and I'm guessing like he shut like Atlanta. Would you want to be that famous? Of Keith Lee. Having like, that impact? Yes, yes. But why? Because I can help people. Like, what he's doing right now is so crazy. Like, mm. if, if people are treating him bad, yeah. Yo, he's he's preaching God, too, while he's at it. I feel like he's, like, the best influencer that came out of influencer so far. Mm-hmm. Uh, us, too, but, like, since mm. we, we don't preach bad stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he's helping people, restaurants that are shutting down. The next day, they'll, they're crying because of how much... Like people mm-hmm. are coming in. Yeah, that's pretty crazy. He, that's actually using your platform for something good. Mm-hmm. But would you? I don't know. Like, would you want to feel so famous that it kind of takes away from your what life was before? Like, oh, you can't go man. back. Mm. I don't know. Because I feel like there's a point of that. Like, you can't go back. Like, for example, Michael Jackson, Justin Bieber, Drake. Yeah, like paparazzi following you. Kanye, like, you can't be regular no more. Mm-hmm. But I feel like. If I was in that position where I could change people's lives, though, I still would do it, Loki. I would just have to face the consequences. Yeah, obviously, yeah. But, like, would you choose that or would you choose not? Like, if, if you had a choice of, like, you could still have the same success but not yeah, that pro- part. Oh, same success? I st- I would probably still choose it. Really? Yeah. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Really? Because I'm, like, I... I like, right now, I'm, like, super no, chill. Like, you have to think about it this way. Like, it'll get to a point where, like, you can't even... You can't even go to the store. See, but the decision is hard. It's like, would you rather n- not have an impact and not have anyone looking after you? or No, have you could s- have an impact, like, quietly. Quietly? Then, yeah, I would choose that life. Then. Like, the creator of, like, uh, I don't know, like, a, a huge charity. Like, you don't know the name of. Yeah. Like, they're not a celebrity type shit. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I feel like life just works out if it's meant f- to happen. Because I feel like you can't choose that life. Mm. You know what I mean? No, but like, would you want? Like, would you? If it if yeah. it comes, yeah, I would. I would be okay with it. Word. You know what I mean? That's so crazy to me because I feel like you wouldn't. I think about it more. Yeah. Like I'm not saying I would dislike it, but it would definitely be sad to see my old life go away. Mm, that's deep. Cause yeah, cause, Cause that's you can't just, go back. Yeah. So as your friends would you they they can relate to you on a certain level you can't anymore. Like is is that is that us like just finished? Uh, close friends. Nah, fam. You have, like, keep in mind, bro, like, I, I'm talking Michael Jackson level where people will track down your house. Mm. People are, like, looking through your windows. Yeah. Now, I'm not talking, I'm not talking, like, influence. I'm talking, like, Michael Jackson. Oh, okay, okay. Like, that scale. Like, people will follow you your every, like, people know where you're, you are at all times. Oh, shit. And it, it's difficult to escape. But if I if fuck, but isn't that like, see, it's it's crazy because like you work. This is what we're working. For. Not we're not working for that, but we're working for a bigger influence, right? Mm. That's kind of what we're working for, though. It's it's gonna come regardless. Mm-hmm. Like if we if we want those millions and we're we're out on to internet everywhere, we're kind of already putting ourselves in that life to go that direction. You know what I mean? So it's like since you don't want it, would you just want to? I'm not saying it? I don't want it. Yeah, I'm not saying that. I'm yeah. just saying it, it. It's scary to think about. Yeah. 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 It is scary to think about. I just think it's sad. Sad. I don't I, know. Because I, I don't know. I'm very nostalgic. Like I think about, I think about the past a lot. Yeah. And one thing I I would hate to lose like relatability to to people I love. Mm. 
and I feel like the more and more you become a person that you want to be, yeah, because it's so easy to to say like it's not mm-hmm. when you're not actively working at it and like getting closer and closer to it, yeah, because you really do change, fam. Mm. Like, like not even little things, like deeper things that you just wouldn't regularly do with with your homies. Yeah, it becomes like almost a damn. I can't enjoy that with them no more. Mm. Like, imagine something you really, really love to do yeah. and it becomes something you hate because you're trying to be something else. Not because you're trying to be something else, because you become someone else. Yeah. Fuck. It's fucking deep, right? Like, yeah. I'm not going to lie. It gets like that. Yeah, I, I haven't really thought about it that way, to be honest. Because I'm thinking like, yeah, my friends, I'll always be close to my friends and shit like no, that. No, yeah. Like, that's the the love, right? Like, yeah. you want that yeah, fam. But know. imagine the moment it's like, you want that, but you can't, like it, you physically don't feel it. Yeah. How does that make you right? Like you physically can't feel it. Like that's it's just not there for you. It's like you trying to relate to, like a toddler. Mm. Fuck that is. Like if it becomes if it becomes like that, I'm saying I'm not yeah. saying. Oh yeah, hopefully it doesn't. Nah, hopefully it doesn't. Right? Man. Like it it could it could, but I I I would love to because the way I am. I still try to see everybody's story. Mm-hmm. Like I don't, regardless of who they are, I would love to get to know them. Fam, you know me. Like I'm, I'm hanging out with, like yeah. I, I'll go out of my, my way to to talk to people that 100, 100. regular people wouldn't want to talk to you. Yeah, but it's like you never know though. Like you, like you said, people do change, and like at that th- at that point of fame, it's like we y- you might not stay the same because there's there's the, there's a chance that you will. But fam, I this, think for my love of people, yeah, I would still be willing to just. Just love it. Just because, just because I would love to hear everyone's story and I would just love to hear like experiences. That, like that, that kind of intrigues me. I guess, but it's like, I, like you're saying Michael Jackson level of fame. Mm-hmm. I think the reason why it's so much because it's like, yeah, you want to do that, but there's so much, there's, there's more that you have to do now and you're going to just become exhausted if you see, if you see, if you try and go that route. Because, it, but for me, I think, I think what excites me about that yeah. is for me to question like, damn, okay, let me like understand why they think of me this. Like I would, that's what excites me. Like Word, seeing that, their uh, experience out of it. I don't know. I like, feel like that's exhausting. I don't know if it's exhausting. Because I feel like that's why uh, people are dickheads to paparazzi because it's like, they're not really thinking of, oh, that's this their job. It's like, oh, there's too much people following. Like, yeah, that makes sense why they're dickheads. Loki, I would be a dickhead too. I would be curious, Loki. Really? No, but then see, see, but that's a chain reaction. If you're curious and you interact with the paparazzi, yeah, there's gonna be more paparazzi the next time because you're the only celebrity that 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 allows them. You know what I mean? No, but so, I'm saying, I'm saying, I would be curious to idea mm-hmm. of like why this is. Does that uh, make sense? I don't know, fam. Because like, you I would be curious to 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 see like their experience and want to see like. What, like instead of them interviewing me, I would want yeah. to interview them. See, but it's easy to say. Oh, that's that's crazy. No, no, no that's crazy. It's easy to say because we're not at that point yet. But fam, I feel like at that point, I would actually want privacy. Like, there's no. I would at Loki turn into a dickhead because I don't, it's like, I don't think I would, fam. I don't think really because for my love of people, like I don't think I would want to. Like I have love for people too, but like there gets to a point where it's like, yo, I just want. You know what I mean? Like it would piss me off that I can't have. My no, because I'm trying to see. Back. I'm trying to see if it would make me love people more or hate people. Because if people are giving you love, why would you not love them more? I don't know. Right? Man. We're not in that position. <laughs> That's bro. a good question. Yo, come though. back in a, a year. That's two a great and... question. That's a great question. <laughs> yeah, it is. It is. I will end it off there. Yeah. Thank you for watching this episode of Jumper Jump Podcast. Make sure to comment, like, subscribe, all the good stuff. Make sure to go to Spotify, Apple, download this episode, man. We love you. And yeah, Jumper Jump out. Deuces. Boom.